Having people walk on me gives me such an energy rush that I really enjoy. It's lots of fun at least, and it can be kinky at best. My name is Giorgio. By day, I'm a massage therapist, and by night, I'm the human carpet. I dress in carpet, people walk all over me. It's wonderful. I've been in Connecticut for 30 years, as long as I've been in the carpet. Some orange juice. Orange juice, yes. You? Thank you. Looks good. The families that live in this part of town, but their lifestyle is such that they wouldn't imagine that you know, talking to me that I would go to kink parties and goth parties and fetish parties and all of those and as a human carpet. But hey, everybody has a twist to them. <laughs> it gets my energy going and yeah, why not? Sure, life is too short. So these are the th three carpets that I have. Red with a beige pattern, a little bit. That's the hole for the arm. And that's the hole for the face. I think this one will fit the theme of the event that we're going to tonight. It's a dark wave dance party, so this is dark. The footprints are inviting for people to step on. So I think it'll work best. What I make of an event can vary from zero to 300 plus a night. Ever, say, between 200 and 300 a week, which would be about 1,200 a month. The most tips I ever got with was like 170 in tips. It's a, definitely a side income, not a main one. This is Southern Connecticut. Here we're about an hour from the very tip of Manhattan. I was 18 when I came to the States. Eh? So yeah, all of my carpet years have been in the States. I do feel like I have a double life. Uh, I think a lot of people do. It's just a matter how you deal with them, how you keep a balance. Now, I, if I thought people would understand about Kinks, why not? I would be open about it, yes. This is one of the local hardware stores in, in Fairfield County. And it has all the carpets you want and, and a lot more, obviously. Yeah. I love carpets, I really do. I take pleasure in, in looking at them and, and looking at all the different selections that there are, uh, different designs. I think carpets are beautiful. All I need is a four by six or a five by seven. There are some very interesting carpets here. It has a pretty design that looks pretty oriental to me. It's beautiful, but it's pricey. It's, it's, uh, it's just about $200. So it'll take about three to four paying events. The prices of the carpets that I get for the gigs range from almost nothing to about $100. I do not get very expensive carpets, simply because it doesn't pay. Uh, six by eight, $23. They're cheap. That's an interesting one. It is contemporary. Three by five, it's too small. I need at least four by six. Maybe I'll take two, I'll make two carpets out of this. Yeah, yeah. All right. Day to day, I do a lot of things at home. I'm a massage therapist. I do have my clients come in for massages. I am on call basis with this spa. And they average about one to two a day, usually. And then I average one or two a day myself. What I experience with my clients is I give them an energy release or an energy balance through applying pressure points and, and strokes also. And then it's my turn to get my own physical therapy in the way that I enjoy the most, and that is being in the carpet. In my day-to-day -day life, the last thing I would want to do is create scenes. I'm a very private person. Well, there was an inherent risk in uh, carrying out an endeavor like this, being a human carpet. Some people that you know that are close to you on your other side of life may know about it and they may not understand it. 
I can't say that the, the old friends and family that I have would be supportive of my carpet activities, no matter how hard I try to explain it to them. Just inflicting that shock on them is, is rather painful for me. I don't see the benefit of driving them through that experience. We are on, on our way to New York. I'm just filling gas to make sure I have enough gas <laughs> for the round trip. Typical trip to the city cost me anywhere between 70 to 80 dollars between gas and toll. I do that at least twice a week, sometimes four times, as many as four times a week. Situations can be exciting and, you know, quite arousing if I find that person to be quite attractive. And, of course, she's having fun doing it, too. Carrie! Oh, you know, oh Carrie. my God! Oh, who does it? Who does it? I'll see you. This carpet is what people see. I refer to it as the shell that I put on me after I put other things. And those other things would be some padding. If you put enough padding, it'll be a more flat surface for people to stand on. I make sure I go to the bathroom before I get on the carpets. Usually, four to five hours is safe. I, I don't need a bathroom. Giorgio is a long time staple in the scene where he feels safe, where he feels wanted, you know, where, where people are open to that sort of thing. He'll be there um, and we always enjoy having him. I would love to. I would stomp on the human carpet if he or she wanted me to. I'll probably order a drink like standing right on top of it. It's kind of normal for New York City, I don't know. I only see legs and, and shoes and feet. The more I look like a carpet and less of a human, the more steppable I will be. If, if people see only a human being in me, they would be less prone to, to stepping on me. There are moments when people step on me, they, they're curious, they want to experience it. I try to dance them and bounce them up and down and give them a little wavy motion magic carpet, so to speak. People that I've seen before, who have walked on me before, jump on me because they love doing it, and that really makes my day. That was that one. Great. The carpet takes a lot of time of my days, so that's one conflict with having a relationship that would be satisfactory at least to the other partner. I currently do not have a partner. I, different stages of my life, I did, uh, on and off. Most of the times, you know, she thought that she could deal with me being on the carpet and doing this, but ended up not being able to, to deal with it. It was just too much for her. <laughs> Uh, this time, I'm not sure I can balance a relationship with, with the carpet. I've tried many times and I couldn't. Can I have it both with a partner? No, I don't think so, unfortunately. That's why I gave up on finding a partner. Can we have a break? I'm blessed to have a lot of following and, and a lot of people who love me and, and love what I do and love to walk on me and, and that, a lot of times that gets in the way. Hey, Jim? Is that a sunblock? You're the man. Nah, you're the man. Okay, close your eyes. At beach parties, it's uh, too hot for the carpet. I'm basically a human quicksand where uh, just my head is sticking out and 
The rest of me is covered with sand. And again, my sign that says, step on sad man. I can feel people's steps better. Uh, the sand cushions like the effect but, the, you know, the, the footstep goes through the sand. There's not too much sand on me. So I can feel each wonderful step. Can I have an ice cube, please, from the cooler? Mmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know Giorgio about, I, I, would, I would say about 14 to 15 years ago um, at, at a venue. He's got good heart, you know. He's very empathic. Mm. He, he feels energy when people step on, on, on him. I met him at one of the parties and walking to the bar trying to get a drink, I almost tripped over him. But then I found out later, it's okay, it's all right, this is what he likes, go right ahead. There's a part of me that likes giving other people pleasure, like enjoying moments that um, they can't get from other places. <laughs> It felt like a lot of beautiful pressure. Kind of naughty fun. As long as I can keep going and there are people who are happy to step on me, I will just keep going. What I want for myself in life, just continue doing what I'm doing and, and hopefully meet that right person one day. It's a huge pleasure to convert, so to speak, people into carpet walkers. You know, people who would at first see, be freaked out totally from walking on a person into people who would take pleasure doing so. It's, that's a huge reward for me. Yeah, I'd love to continue doing that, yeah. I see myself retiring from the human carpet scene maybe 10 years after I die. <laughs>